Kalau fight seking, kalau fight. Salam for love, freshies. I'm sending out for. GAE, Fulcher, and a thousand welcomes to Dublin, Ireland. <laughs> can we give the, can we give the laugh? Am I saying it right? Here's all we got coming up today on Fresh. Oh, there's no cheese. <laughs> I want to test the hands. I want to make sure he's got finger opa, you know, hands with calluses. I want to make sure that he can really <laughs> ring it around because you can tell a man yeah. when they can ring their puha yeah. exactly what they're going to ring later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But I'm not going to say that. Am I going to say it? Oh, it's amazing. To Captain Ireland against England in Twickenham. Certainly a, a, a career highlight for me. Oh, it's not that fresh become normal, but he always wears jandals everywhere. Even when it's raining. <laughs> George O'Kelton was named after St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Patrick. Yeah. He <laughs> actually was. <laughs> now that's keeping it fresh. <laughs> that's keeping it fresh. <laughs> Rosalina is an adaptation of an old Samoan legend, so it's basically um, a contemporary Siva Samoan production. No one's doing that at the moment. Uh, telling myth and legend through Siva Samoa, the only way to tell our stories is to do it ourselves. Uh, Rosalina is about a maiden who has ten overprotective brothers. Somehow she gets spiked. Oh, she drinks some juice that's spiked by the Manusinas, um, and then uh, I, get, I get the blame for it, and the brothers are after me instead of the uh, Manusinas, but then I shoot in the right way. I think we started at the planning at the beginning of last year, talking about different ideas, what legends, what haven't we touched yet, um, how can we make it different from our prior shows, how can we be different, how can we excite the audience, how can we excite the community, how can we engage them, and I couldn't be happier with a team like this. Hey, rest for you. Thank you. <laughs> Struggle is real. <laughs> a lot of similar Samoan dancers, but it's like switched up, so yeah, big ups to the directors and the choreographers. My favourite part was just seeing how traditional dance is evolving into like something more modern and relatable. Tell the yeah. truth, Lee. Yeah, he was crying up there, so. It's so amazing, like, for real, it's like, even though like all the practices are hard work, like late night, when I say keep it, you say fresh, keep it, fresh, keep it, fresh, fresh keep it, fresh. Keep it fresh. It's awesome to see the young guys on the rise. Check out this rising star. The young guns, we've got some young guns. <laughs> oh, goals, right? No, a couple of goals. Oh. Uh, Malalele, my name 
name is Emily, I'm a musician, singer-songwriter, and I am Tongan. So I think I was about 14 or 15 when I uploaded my first YouTube video, and that was like when YouTube just became a thing. Is it on? Okay, hold on. <clears throat> so I ended up just making a video, um, posting it online, and then I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And um, then I just started posting and posting, and then it started gaining traction. Um, and I really don't know how it was like real budget, low key, like videos. Um, yeah, and it kind of just went from there and all throughout high school, um, even into my, my first years of university, I was just making videos. Um, I think my music style has definitely changed a lot since I first started out. I started out um, really loving Brooke Fraser and her sound, so I was real singer-songwriter kind of type music. And then um, I started listening to a lot more um, neo-soul, contemporary R&B, and I guess that's what my music is influenced by now. So I've listened to a lot of D'Angelo, um, Erika Badu, uh, India Ari, um, and also a lot of the New Zealand greats like Arija uh, and Aradna as well. Um, those are some of the people that I grew up listening to and definitely influenced by that. Uh, one of my best friends, he's uh, um, Aradna's keyboardist and just gave me a call out of the blue and he was just like, Rats is looking for a backing vocalist. And I was like, shut up, like, why, why, are, you talk, why are you calling me? Um, and then I ended up just going to Wellington with him to have a rehearsal and then um, after that, just became part of the band and it's been the most surreal experience. Um, I got to open for Radna on her New Zealand tour, um, so I was already happy enough that I was going to be beaming for her set. Um, and then when I got the email asking me to actually um, open for her, I was like, what the heck? I got to tour my own home country, um, but performing my own original music. Um, it was a real epic experience. Um, so as a brown woman um, who's trying to get into an industry that's definitely um, male dominated um, and also there's not many um, you know, people of colour who are in the industry, there's always going to be challenges that come with that. I always think about um, you know, my grandparents who migrated here and the strength that it would have taken for them to migrate you know, and navigate through a society that didn't acknowledge them. I find strength in knowing that they, if they can do it then I can do it too. My granddad was a musician as well, so we grew up listening to some of his songs and I kind of just never dropped it um, when I got to high school and then I ended up just studying it in university. So um, I studied a Bachelor of uh, Commerce and a Bachelor of Music and Popular Music, so I met a lot of my, well, my band um, and a lot of my friends there uh, doing music um, and it was awesome. I guess some of the messages that um, I really want to convey is um, Definitely ones of hope, um, of love, of grace, but also um, letting people know that if you want to say something, it doesn't have to be in words, it can be in music, it can be in art, it can be in your creativity or in your craft, um, and that's what I really want people to kind of find, hopefully, uh, in my music. <laughs>
you know, those are the memories that you, you play for and I'm really, you know, really grateful for that. So that way there is Wales. We're looking up to the Welshman. Uh, we're in Dublin, Ireland. I'm here with my husband. Mr. Yossi is just taking a selfie. <laughs> we originally came to Galway in 2009 for six months, but we loved it so much that we actually were wanting to stay. Unfortunately, Connacht Rugby wanted George back. And here we are, we're uh, seven, almost seven and a half years in Ireland. I grew up in Omaru, and hardly any of us are down there. Um, but yeah, so my mum, amazing woman, raised uh, four of us on her own. Oh, growing up in Omaru, to be honest, was, oh, I loved it. For us growing up, I was the, I'm the youngest of four, and, you know, we didn't have a big house, small house, but a massive backyard. We just sort of played sport in the backyard, and we had everything that we needed. Jeez, my mum was a clever lady, you know, just send us out and play around and come back in and full of and all that. <laughs> I used to watch uh, my brother play on uh, the Saturdays in Centennial Park in Omaru. Yeah, so I always, you know, wanted to be part of that after having watching how awesome my brother was. <laughs> he was awesome. He was like Carlos Benton. That's what I, I'm, I know I'm, I'm biased, but um, yeah, that's how I got into rugby. Good tracking. I've always been quite, uh, you know, wanting to do well not just for myself, but for my family. And, um, you know, certainly they didn't put that, pr that pressure on me. I put that pressure on myself. Yeah, after, you know, um, being involved in sport for, for ages and then going to uni and working and all that stuff. The doctor, while I was in Otago Uni, diagnosed me with anorexia. And I was like, oh, you know, at that, that time, certainly there's this unheard of having a Polynesian, you know, Samoan person being a, diagnosed with that, but um, yeah, no, it took, took a while to, um, I suppose, uh, accept that I had uh, an eating disorder and, um, you know, uh, a bit of depression at the time, and um, yeah, it was an interesting journey and um, one that I'm incredibly grateful for. <laughs> so lucky for Siossi, girl of bay. Too humble, what happened? No, 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 I'm not. God, you're making me say these things. What was your question? <laughs> Sorry. Oh. What, what was it like being voted one of the most influential women in Ireland? She's just humbling. What I love to do was engage in the community, not just in sports, but, but in other areas. And, you know, I suppose that's, that's just part of me and who I am and how, I'm, how I grew up, you know, and learning to build relationships with uh, people of all walks of life. Oh, I'm hearing you. You're too humble. <laughs> no, all I'm I'm going to say, oh, I gosh. Know, it's OK. What's happened? Yeah, I just became a bit passionate about wanting to contribute overall in the sports world in Ireland. So I then went back to uni last year and, yeah, and uh, finished my master's. So um, it's been an interesting journey. I just graduated. <laughs> What'd you graduate on? There's a paradigm shift that, you know, I really believe needed to happen, especially as a first generation born New Zealand, where um, you're typically, you know, expected to, to do this and that. And within reason, absolutely, tradition is important. It's important to keep the, the, the best parts of tradition, um, but at the same time, being conscious of the big wide world and being open-minded to expressing yourself in different ways. Um, certainly in this first couple of steps of my life so far, it's um, hopefully opened the eyes of my nieces and nephew and my stepson and my family back home and it certainly feels like that in terms of what they're, you know, realising as to why I'm doing what I'm doing. Don't go anywhere fam, so we've got loads of freshness <laughs> coming up. Here she is, here she is. What's this mean? What are you doing what's, here? What's going on? I don't realise they... You guys know each other? Great showman. security, security. We're good, we're good, we're good. Welcome to the place of Pekekas and St. Patrick's Day, Ireland. Kia 
Morana, Talofa, and welcome to Fresh Blind Date. Yeah, I know, excited. Now, this is the show that whoever said love is blind was probably blind or should have gone to Specsavers. Let's dip our toes into the jam and find out who the spatula is. Mm. Wow, okay. Welcome to the show. Tell us who you are. Oh, well, my name is Boom Bulletproof Monk, and, um, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm here to look for my true love, and apparently this place to be. Fantastic. Well, it's time to put the crispy into the cream, and let's welcome your spatularettes. Let's welcome your spatularette number one. She unfortunately missed out on the crown for Miss Heilala this year and started a sippy dao on stage. Oh, wow, hi. Oh, wow, you nice look beautiful. beautiful. You smell wow. beautiful. <laughs> Tell us, who yeah. are you? Um, my name is Tala, and I'm really excited about tonight because yeah. um, I haven't had a boyfriend since, uh, well, pretty much since I was born, so I'm, <laughs> I really hope tonight's my night. I think it's going to be. You look incredible. Okay, thank you. Uh, my outfit it was made, uh, took two months to make. <laughs> yeah, we were waiting for all the material to arrive. Right. What's one thing you'd like our spatula to uh, know about you? Oh, uh, just to know that I'm really loving. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a good man, oh, yeah. or any man, really, <laughs> even if he's just breathing. Yeah. <laughs> Your spatula at number two wants a one out with Kevin Barry. Please welcome Halle Berry. What's going on? I didn't realise they You guys know each other. The greatest oh, showman. Is <laughs> what is no, security, security. I'm right, so yeah, yeah. Take take I didn't realise... Take you Welcome. I didn't realise you are going to be here. Kia ora. Oh, oh, oh malo in LA. Fefe <laughs> hake. Very good, very good. So are you the spatula? No, no, no. He's next door, but... Uh, oh, OK. That's... Oh, no, 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 oh, not okay. yet, not no. yet. Tell oh, okay. us who you are. Uh, my name is Faye Cara. Oh, I'm right. 27 years old. 27 years old. Ladies, ladies, calm down. This isn't Fortnite. Let's welcome our third spatularette. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora. Oh, 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 hang on. Mm -hmm. oh, and, uh, kia ora. Those ones are mine. Like, oh, you look beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. Why are you still single and looking for love? You're beautiful. Oh, I don't know. What? Mm, aroha mai. Mm, not your turn. I'm actually looking for, you know, someone um, a bit like my father, because that's how Māori are. Mm. We, um, you, you know, we're very... You wouldn't your father, uh, would you? No, 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 no. Aroha mai. How's your ears? Um, but anyway, I represent, um, of course, you know, please acknowledge my tino, Aranga Tiratanga, which is absolute independence. That's what I'm about. There's no need for security today. That's right. You won't need any of that. It's and not um, Waitangi. No, Waitangi <laughs> when you can cry. Aroha mai. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Oh, well, welcome. Spatula, did you like what you, he uh, what you heard from them? I, uh, I did. I did. I heard of a few things. I mean, there's someone out there, 27. 27? Okay, Kainga, it's question time and it's time for our spatula to find out a little bit more about our spatularettes so he can decide who will be his little Kim to his biggie smalls. Over to you, spatula. First question is, where will you take me and what would we do on our very first date? Okay, spatularette number three, you heard it from our spatula. What's your answer? Well, I'd have to take him to the marae, first and foremost, and we'll go through to the whare nui and see the tupuna on the wall. I, I, it's really I... special for me. Um, and then, of course, I would um, then, um, we would go down and pick some puha together and wring it out, you know, because you've got to wring the milk out oh, of it, eh? Yeah. So it's not kawa, it's not sour. Um, unlike some, hiwe. It's a hard job and I want to test the hands. I want to make sure he's got fingaropa, you know, hands with calluses. I want to make sure that he can really <laughs> ring it around because you can tell a man yeah. when they can ring that puha yeah. exactly what they're going to ring later. Hey? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think, uh, Spatula? Sounds interesting, man. I I'd love to get to meet this girl and um, get on her wild side. Ooh. Ooh. Speaking of the wild side, Ooh. what do you think of Spatula at number two? Um, well, uh, personally, not very many people know this about me, but I also speak French. Oh. Um, I'll probably take you to um, my boudoir. You speak French? Parlez-vous français, oui? Oh, oui, oui, oui. Oui, 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 oui. we would play with your wee oui, wee oui, and uh, <laughs> with your croissant. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll introduce some of our Samoan produce to that French uh, croissant. 
Spatula, what do you think? I like I like the intertwining infusion of French Samoan. So Ooh. yeah, I'm quite keen on uh, getting to meet this this lady too, actually. All right, Spatularette number one. We've heard uh, from the Spatula. Where would you like to go, and what will you do on your first date? Um, wow, well, I'll take him to a Samoan French place called uh, Binate. <laughs> Yeah, it was in Otahu. Yes. Uh, Samoans call it uh, Pingaki. So I'll take him to Pinati <laughs> and we will have some uh, uh, kekei pua. <laughs> uh, it's French for um, uh, pork pan. <laughs> uh, we will listen to some musica. <laughs> 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 and then we will play around on the morning on. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I think, you know, we will have a great day. And, uh, yeah, I'm really, I hope, uh, I'm sure he will enjoy it. Yes. So which mountain would you take me hiking on and why? I actually hate hiking. Sorry. But if there was a monga that I would take you on, it's my own. You can <laughs> hike all over this. OK? That's us from Dublin, Ireland. Keep it fresh, keep it locked. Schlan. Hello, Sonny. Hello, for love, fresh fano. I'm Nick Alfour, and we are in London town. I've got Childish Gambino on. <laughs> Join me on the Poly Express, y'all. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.